हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयनंद सोसाइटी अर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन बी सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द बुक एडवाइस टू स्टूडेंट्स ऑथर्ड बाय स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयनंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंद सो वी आर ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ टुवर्ड्स रेडिएंट हेल्थ द सर्च फॉर ब्यूटी योगा is a beautifying process that does not cost you anything and yet is very helpful for your overall toning and development the results are permanent all it requires is that you get up early in the morning do some hatha yoga exercises repeat a mantra which is japa mantra a mystic divine formula such as om namah shivaya om om shri krishna nama om dum durga nama or any mantra of your liking and also practice meditation which is inward reflection then with a relaxed mind do your duties efficiently you will develop a sense of freedom and joyousness and that will make you most beautiful you will be internally happy and peaceful when you are fulfilled content relaxed and happy a spiritual beauty manifests within you this beauty is like the radiance and splendor of a magnificent tree in full bloom it is not the artificial body that is worshiped by the world in comparison to spiritual beauty this artificial beauty is like paper flowers pasted on a paper tree to make it look like as if it were blossoming it is important to take care of your body but not to become obsessed with it don't waste all your time fussing over your looks trying to decide whether putting one strand of hair over there and another one here makes you look more attractive it is only when you begin to understand that you are not the body that you really become beautiful your real beauty manifests within you and you also become truly beautiful to everyone because whoever you touch wherever you go people find happiness and they find joy and you lighten up the environment that is real beauty let us uh, hear a nice story of a wrestler and the beautiful lady around the 16th century there lived a young wrestler named dhanurdas who fell in love with a singer and soon married her dhanurdas found his wife so beautiful that he could not take his eyes away from her when they traveled during the hot indian summer he would hold an umbrella over her head and walk backwards <laughs> so that he might keep her lovely face permanently in view naturally people laughed at such a spectacle but he didn't care what they thought his wife on the other hand felt very uncomfortable about his behavior but out of respect for the hindu tradition she had to accept whatever he did during one of their trips a saintly person observed dhanurdas obsessive behavior and thought it was very amusing so he sent his disciples to fetch the in fact the infatuated wrestler when the man came before him the sage said i am very pleased that you are a lover of beauty thank you most gracious sage replied the young man my wife's beauty has me so captivated and it is that my mind is totally absorbed in her i cannot take my mind and my eyes off of her because you admire beauty so much the sage said i am going to conduct a special puja worship before the deity and i want you to be present with me to receive god's blessings according to the story the sage by his spiritual power transmitted to the young man a glimpse of god as a result of that blessing dhanurdas was able to behold the infinite divine beauty that pours through the universe like cascading waters surging in the ocean shining in the sun shedding nectar through the moon smiling through the radiant autumn forest the moment his mind captured a glimpse of that beauty he was completely transformed O oh, sage said Dhanurdas hereafter 
God will be the object of my intense devotion. I shall not take my eyes away from him. He and his wife were then initiated as disciples and in due time they became highly advanced saints. As this story shows, there is an extremely powerful urge in human personality to adore beauty. The fact is, however, that behind that urge is the search for God. Who is the embodiment of infinite beauty? And it is only in moving towards God that every aspect of your personality becomes beautiful. The magic wand of divine beauty is quite miraculous. Touched by that beauty, your intellect becomes reflective and increasingly more intuitive. The feelings of your heart begin to flow into the stream of divine love. Your actions become selfless and increasingly more compassionate and magnanimous. And your mind becomes meditative, allowing you to enjoy serenity and inner peace. Because beauty proceeds from God, it is captured in your personality just as the sun is captured in a clear lake. The more integrated and harmonized your personality becomes, the more you reflect the beauty of God and radiate its dazzling glory to others. Let's touch upon an important topic, enjoying the gift of good sleep. Healthy sleep is a great attainment. It is a sign of physical as well as psychological health. If your personality is highly integrated, you can control sleep and also sleep at will. Sleep is necessary so that the physical body can rest and recharge itself at the end of each day. During sleep, special physiological and chemical changes occur in your body. Your blood becomes more alkaline and nature works to expel toxins or poisons. Your tired body heals itself faster during sleep because your mind and ego do not interfere at that time. Sleep is a great aid in securing health, in promoting physical and mental balance and in curing disease. In every way, it is a marvelous divine medicine given as a gift by nature. Physical hints for promoting healthy sleep. So some good suggestions. Do not depend on stimulants to keep awake or sleeping pills to go to sleep. Let sleep emerge naturally from your heart and bathe your body in fresh energy. The sleep produced under the influence of drugs is not as healing as natural sleep. These drugs depress your nerves and your mind becomes duller and duller as time passes by. Practice Hatha Yoga's powerful exercises to promote flexibility and strength of the body, deep and complete breathing and profound relaxation. These exercises recharge your physical body with prana, vital energy. And as you continue doing them with regularity and precision, you will enjoy healthier sleep. Follow a sensible diet and eat in moderation, allowing adequate time for good digestion. Diet plays a great part in soothing your nerves and promoting a restful sleep. As a rule, do not take heavy food before going to sleep. In the ashrams, centers of spiritual learning in India, the evening meal is served at or before sunset so that there is sufficient time for the food to be digested before the students go to sleep. Sleeping on the left side also helps to promote better sleep. This encourages the breath to flow through the right nostril aiding in the assimilation and digestion of food, as well as providing other benefits to the body while it sleeps. Do not sleep with your head towards the north. To do so allows the polar magnetic pull to interfere with the functioning of your brain. A good principle to follow is early to bed, early to rise. Set a definite time for going to sleep that utilizes your best energies and try to maintain it. 
practice moderation in sleeping, eating, playing, studying, meditating and in all os aspects of your life. Too much or too little of anything can put stress on your nerves and disbalance your psychophysical personality. So with this we conclude our satsang for today and in tomorrow's satsang we will continue on this beautiful topic of sleep and how to elevate your mind. This is Swami Nikhilananda. Hari Om Tatsat.